right, guys, we're back on the scale. October 15th. And we're at 193. So, yeah, as you guys know, going way back, you know, obviously, we got some room to cut. Definitely in the midsection, but you know, you guys already know. If you guys have been watching the channel before, um, it's going to take some time. Got to get down to that 170 mark until we start really losing all of that. But uh, I'm not. I mean, I feel pretty good for as far as the starting weight, as far as finishing off the year strong. Um, but yeah, you guys, not too bad. So 193 is going to be the starting weight. All right, next thing we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to do our body fat percentage. And uh, I have moved since the last time I've done these videos. So we're going to go ahead and do this in the closet. All right, so let's see here. All right, so we're at 15.9. That is the body fat percentage. So starting weight. Um, so kind of start off and kind of explain like, damn, Pat, you lost, you gained a lot of, you lost a lot of weight, then you gained a lot of weight, then you lost a lot of weight, and then you, uh, kind of gained some weight back. Um, you know, over the last, what, it's been almost two months since I posted the video. I think I was in like, what was I at? Irvine? And, uh, a lot has changed in my life, um. You know, especially with work, I'm actually uh, doing a startup as well. Um, you know, still hitting the gym. Um, getting back, I'm actually back on keto. I've been on keto for about two months. And I, you guys, I was actually at like 210 uh, two months ago. And one of the things that, uh, you know, I had a physical and uh, the doctor said, you know, I, I might have pre-diabetes. I was like, what the hell is pre-diabetes? So, you know, my dad, you know, he passed away when I was like 13. You know, he was a diabetic. Um, actually passed away from complications from diabetes. So, you know, that's one of the things as far as the, the dieting and the nutrition and the, the lifting and everything is obviously, you know, it is genetic with my family. So I've been pretty, pretty blessed so far in my life um, with, you know, not being a diabetic but uh you know i want to keep it that way so you know obviously I, I got a physical and you know the doctor said that you know with my blood pressure and stuff like that you know i'm on that cusp of being pre-diabetic so i did some research i was like i you know i thought this was something that was made up i still kind of do but you know that's one of the things where you know obviously for my um height and my size and everything and you guys know um, you know, I should be at that 170 range at least. So, you know, that's one of the goals, obviously, from the appearance, but also from a physical and health perspective. Um, I definitely got to get down and cut weight and, you know, maintain at a healthy weight. Um, obviously, I've lost, you know, quite a bit since then. Um, close to 20 pounds, you guys. So, um, you know, I'm at 193. I was at like two. Man, no, no, that's not true probably like more like 10 pounds, but 10 pounds in two months, I'll, I'll do it. You know, obviously we're gonna be a lot more aggressive going in um, towards the end of the year because obviously New Year resolution is gonna continue, but I wanna finish the year off strong. Um, the goal is to get down to 165 before the end of the year and, uh, you know, potentially do a show. You know, there's no shows in December except a couple. So that's kind of the plan, you guys. So we're gonna hit the gym. Uh, today is chest day. Um, you know, I appreciate everyone that sticks that sticks with me through all this. You know, I know I've been, you know, off over the last six months, but, you know, really want to hit the grinding hard. I'm going to try to do three videos a week just with everything I got going on. I think that's good. And then, uh, you know, just go ahead and, you know, leave me comments, suggestions on some of the videos, what you guys want to see, not see. Um, you know, obviously, um, if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know that uh, most of it is just me just blogging kind of my my fitness journey and you know kind of the nutrition thing what i'm eating on those days so i'm gonna kind of keep it the way i've been doing it but if you guys have any suggestions just go ahead and do it definitely hit the like definitely go ahead and comment um and definitely subscribe um leave me some love and uh let's get the day started all right guys so here's the physique check
All right, you guys, so we're at the gym. We're gonna do some cardio. So I've been running a lot. Uh, one of the things that we're gonna do is, uh, my goal is to do a mile in five minutes and 30 seconds. The closest I've gotten is, I think six, 5.59. So we're gonna push, man. I'm gonna try to do, see if I can do it today. And by the end of the year, if I can do a 5.30 pace on the, even if it's on the treadmill, it doesn't matter to me. guys uh, I didn't get the 530 but I got like 602 uh, and honestly it wasn't that bad uh, out of breath but I'm actually happy with that I'm happy with the results so you know I've been doing uh, some sprints you know I've been helping with the metabolism you know, I've been mixing it up with some mile runs at fast speeds and then some longer distance running, not like the marathon training. So I've been doing that, trying to do the, the mile sprints twice a, twice a week. And uh, one thing is you guys, I actually got myself some keto coffee during my workout. So I just didn't hit my macros. Um, it's late. I want to get as close as I can to my macros. So this should get me where I need to be. But I don't get caught up on the, the structure and format of, you know, you should be taking your pre-workout at this time, post-meal at this time. You know, as long as your body's getting that nutrients, especially while you're on keto, hitting your macros, you know, that's all you need to really worry about, man. Don't overcomplicate it. The main thing is pushing hard, staying consistent, you know, take it day by day, man. I've been saying this for the longest time. So, I'm gonna walk it out, get the heart rate down a little bit, and then we're gonna hit the upper body. So the first workout we did today was, um, you know, standard bench press. You know, I'm actually, you know, this time around, I'm actually getting a lot stronger. Um, this was my last set of 225 for six reps. Uh, we did four sets of six. Um, I actually felt pretty good. Like, I, I feel like, you know, I could probably knock out 10 of these, um, you know, for one set and probably a little bit more. So, you know, it's, it's good to see the strength go up. You know, obviously, we want to keep that as we're cutting. But uh, definitely start your workouts no matter what you do with the comp compound workout, something a little bit more with uh, a little bit more depth. Um, so that's what we started there. And then we did these face... Um, face pulls here um, You know trying to you know really get good with the form keep the back straight um, with a little incline um, So, you know, we did four sets of this as well. Um, I believe this is four sets of ten um, But yeah, I felt pretty good you guys um, and this is a great one You know, I usually like doing cardio first and the reason why I like doing cardio first is you get the sweat going um, You know really get the blood juice uh, Blood flowing as well um, right here. We did some pull-ups um, once again four sets of ten here um, these felt pretty good as well, um, not too bad. And uh, right here we got some shoulder raises, um, lateral raises right here. Um, you know, once again, four sets of 10. Um, I definitely got an increased rate, weight here. Um, obviously I've been doing this like a year and I'm still hitting those 25 dumbbells. <laughs> I definitely gotta do more. Um, and then we got some uh, T-bar rows. Um, you know, I did a 45, I could probably do another one. You know, mentally I just gotta you know, suck that up and you know, do more there. Um, but you know after this we did three sets of ten of the t-bar rows um, right here um, you know, using the, the standard chest press here um, three sets of ten for this one as well um, I do like doing machines uh, machines um, really let you isolate the muscles the way you need to do it um, right here we did some uh, machine flies uh, three sets of ten here as well um, so usually I start off um, you know using um, when it comes to workouts, um, I don't come in and just do what I feel. I don't think that's a good routine. Uh, one of the things that we do do, I went ahead and did these three sets of 10 as well, um, is follow a plan. I've been mentioning that before in my other videos, bodybuilding.com, um, check it out, you guys. That's it, you guys. Not bad for a workout. So that's day one of this 
end of a year transformation, two and a half months to get to where we need to get to. That's it.